I'm cooking these uh, stinkhorn eggs two minutes per side. I'm going to try them for the first time. Over. Let's see. I'm not sure it's warm enough. I don't want to burn them, so let's just cook them for uh, a while here. I flip them over, getting a little char on them. I feel like maybe a little oil would have helped, but. Um, from a video I watched from the uh, mushroom guy, which I'll uh, credit for this, um, maybe I'll put a link below to his site, um, he recommended just cooking them without oil. This is the best way, so we'll see. I found these in some wood chips, uh, decorative wood chips around uh, some landscaping areas. Um, Probably filled with all kinds of chemicals, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how this tastes. Come on, focus for me. Focus for me. Texture is good. Not much taste. But not off putting at all. Hey, do you want to try one? Nope. Really doesn't taste bad at all. I'm going to stop at two, just in case um, I have some kind of reaction. I actually want to keep eating them. They're not bad. I'm going to stop at three. If you'd ever see another post for me, you know I got violently ill and died. Thanks for checking this, checking this out. Stinkhorn eggs. If you ever saw a stinkhorn, you can check out the picture at the beginning of the video. They don't look very appetizing, and the eggs are very slimy when you pull them out of the ground and you rinse them. It's like holding a large cow testicle. But when you cut them up and fry them like this, they're quite good. Very good texture. All right. Thanks for uh, checking this out.